Hello everyone, welcome back to the plant breeding series of our YouTube channel AgriAddict. Today we will be seeing the differences between the gametophytic self incompatibility and sporophytic self incompatibility. Before starting, let us have a brief introduction about myself. I am your educator Rupa Amin. I have completed my undergraduation from University of Agricultural Science, Bangalore. I have completed my master's in genetics and plant breeding from Indian Agricultural Research Institute. I have got 6th rank in my JRF exam and 28th rank in my SRF exam. I have cleared my ASRB net in genetics subject. I have also been awarded with 8 gold medals in my UG. Today we will be seeing the difference between the sporophytic system as well as the gametophytic system of the self incompatibility which is a pollination control mechanism. Gametophytic self incompatibility sporophytic self incompatibility. What is a gametophytic self incompatibility? It is a incompatibility mechanism in which the self incompatibility mechanism controlled by genotype of the polar. Here it is a self incompatibility mechanism in which the self incompatibility reaction is controlled by the genotype of the mother plant or the plant on which the pollen is produced. Here the pollens are released at by nucleate stage. Here pollens are released at the trinucleate stage. Sigma surface will be wet so that pollen germination will not be affected very much here. Here stigma surface is dry. That is one of the major mechanism controlling this self incompatibility reaction. Whatever the substance that control the incompatibility mechanism will be synthesized after the meiosis. That is when you are four haploid microspores are produced, those genotype, whatever the genotype of your microspore, those genotype will encode certain substances. Those substances will control the self incompatibility mechanism. Here, whatever the substance that is involved in self incompatibility mechanism will be synthesized and synthesized before pollen meiosis because it is of your sporophytic origin it is of your sporophytic origin here it is controlled by single s allele with s gene with multiple alleles it is also single S G with multiple <coughs> alleles. So the number of alleles will be greater in case of gametophytic self incompatibility than the sporophytic self incompatibility. Here the alleles act in a codominant manner in case of style. The alleles behave as a codominant, whereas in case of pollen, since it is haploid in nature, there is no question of dominance or codominance, they will be acting individually. Here, the pollen and pistil can act dominant or codominant, or one dominant and another one as a codominant, or vice versa. All kind of actions can be seen but majorly it is codominance in female and dominance in male can be seen in a majority. Next differences are 
in this gametophytic self incompatibility reciprocal cross difference is not there in this we can see frequent reciprocal cross difference let us see s1 s2 with s2 s3 so this is female and male we know male will produce s2 and s3 gametes let us take s2 is going and fertilizing since it act in a codominant manner s2 is already there which is expressing so this pollen is not affected not accepted and s3 is going so this will be accepted let us take this is a condition of partial incompatibility let us take the reciprocal cross of this s2 s3 as your female parent crossed with s1 s2 as your male parent male will produce s1 and s2 gamete female will be codominant s1 is going and fertilizing yes there is no s1 allele they'll accept so s2 is going and fertilizing since already if s2 is there it is not accepted here also partial incompatibility that is there is no reciprocal cross difference they both yield in a partial incompatibility let us take the sporophytic self incompatibility let us have s2 s3 plant crossed with s1 s2. let us this be your female and this as your male so let us take female as a codominant and male as a dominant so it will produce two different kind of gametes but those all gametes will behave as a s1 because s1 is dominant to s2 all will behave as a s1 and here you have s2 s3 since s1 is going and fertilizing there is no matching allele they'll accept this that is fully compatible let us take the reciprocal cross s1 s2 crossed with s2 s3 let us this be your female and male so female will be codominant s2 s3 and all will behave as a s2 in this case since s2 is dominant to s3 all will behave as a s2 so if it goes and fertilize s2 is already there which is equally expressing so it is matching so it won't accept that will be fully incompatible in one way cross you will see fully compatibility in the other way cross you will see incompatibility that is we can see reciprocal cross difference in case of sporophytic self incompatibility and in this gametophytic self incompatibility only we can recover male parent only male parent can be recovered let us see how s1 s2 let us take s2 and s3 plant so let this be your female and male so female is codominant and it is producing s2 and s3 gametes so s1 s2 is going and fertilizing since s2 is already there it won't be accepted let us take s3 is going and fertilizing so s1 s3 s2 s3 because s3 allele is not there it will be accepted so we can see that male parent is again recovered here but female parent is not recovered as s2 is already matching with it it is rejected in this we can recover both male and female parent let us take s2 cross s2 s3 cross s1 yes so this will be codominant s2 s3 yes this two all will behave as a s1 since there is no matching allele they can affect the fertilization let us take s1 is going and fertilizing s1 s2 s1 s3 s2 is going and fertilizing s2 and s2 s2 and s3 here s2 s3 is your female parent 
S1, S2 is your male parent. You can recover both of them. And in gametophytic system, there is no homozygotes. We cannot recover homozygotes in this mechanism because the same alleles will get rejected from both male and the female. Here we can see homozygotes. Homozygotes are a normal class here. See, you can see here only that is S2, S2 is possible from this kind of cross. That is homozygotes are possible in sporophytic self-incompatibility. So when we go for different crosses, the crosses can be either completely compatible or fully incompatible or partially incompatible. There will be three classes of incompatibility in gametophytic self-incompatibility. Whereas sporophytic self-incompatibility, we can either see fully compatible or fully incompatible. Let us give you an example S1, S2 is crossed with S1, S2. So let us just see your female and male. This will be acting in a codominant way. So S1 and S2, but S1 is dominant, all will behave as a S1. Since all are acting as a S1, since already S1 is there, it will be rejected. There is no case that only S1 is rejected by S1, but S1 is accepted by S2. There is no such case of partial fertility or whatever. So it will be completely rejected. Complete sterility. Let us take S2, S3 with S1, S2 then. So this will behave as a S1 male parent because S1 is dominant. So since there is no matching allele here, all will be accepted even though the genotype of the gamete matches as the compound deposited by the S1 allele is not matching with them, all gametes could be able to fertilize the egg even though they are having the same allele as like S2, S2 even though they are having the same allele, they could be able to completely fertilize. There is no such case that since S2 is there, S2 will reject. There is no such case. We can see fully compatibility or fully incompatibility. Only two cases are possible here. Gametophytic self-incompatibility and sporophytic self-incompatibility. Gametophytic self-incompatibility, when it is monofactorial, it can be overcome by polyploidy. Whereas uh, sporophytic self-incompatibility cannot be overcome or broken down by polyploidy condition. Mm, the scientist who have discovered this is a Easton Mangal's door in Nicotiana Sandri. This is by reason Babcock in Crepis so this can be seen in crops like uh, red clover, your ray and white clover, potato and tomato. This is seen in case of radish, cabbage. flower. These are the major key differences that we will see in case of sporophytic as well as the gametophytic self-incompatibility. In addition to this, I have one more bit of information to share with you all. In addition to gametophytic self-incompatibility and sporophytic self-incompatibility, we can see 
to other kind of self incompatibility that is one cryptic self incompatibility and late acting self incompatibility so in cryptic self incompatibility what happens the presence of your self and the cross pollen that is this dark ones be your cross pollens so presence of the cross and self pollen together on the stigma surface what happens the fertilization by your cross pollen will happens at a higher rate so whenever the self and the cross pollen are present together there will be a higher rate of pollination or fertilization higher rate of fertilization by the cross pollen so if cross pollen is not at all available then what happens to the system so no need to worry about the seed set that the pro, whatever the self pollen is present in the absence of the cross pollen then ensure that some amount of seed set will takes place this is the cryptic self incompatibility what about late acting self incompatibility we know that in two of the major mechanism that is a gametophytic self incompatibility and sporophytic self incompatibility in sporophytic the place of arrest is the stigma the pollen will get arrested at the stigma itself that is it won't germinate in gametophytic system it will get arrested at the stylar region we know that these two are the major places where the self incompatibility mechanism are happening so sometimes what happens the pollen would be even if it is belonging to the same self incompatibility group the pollen would be able to germinate and bypass the stylar region and it could able to reach the ovary so at this stage what happens the pollen tube might not enter inside the ovule it might not enter inside the ovule or even if it enters inside it might not be able to release its male gamete inside the embryo sac even if it releases and affect the fertilization then the embryo will be aborted at the very early stage that is there is no seed set by this fertilization process that is late acting sporophyte late acting self incompatibility that is self incompatibility should have been acted here only it should have it should have stop the self pollen here only either at the stigma or the stylar region but it could able to go till the ovule or it could able to enter the ovule or it could able to affect the ovule till then it will be allowed after that the self pollen will be rejected so what is the significance of this we can say that since there is a lot of time for the plant to recognize which pollen is coming since it is not stop here or here there is more time for the plant to recognize which pollen is coming and fertilizing it it can screen effectively or there is a better choice of the male parent if it evaluates properly it can actually choose which is the best male parent when it is an s1 s2 plant it can actually choose the better male parent precisely this is a another kind of self incompatibility which we see not very commonly but some cases we, it has been noticed so this is the two more information i wanted to share if you like the content which we are providing like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for today we will meet in the next session